Hello everyone, Win here, so I welcome you to another epic Pokemon Theory video. So in today's theory, we'll be discussing a topic that is rarely touched. What if a more shipping becomes more than just a shipping, that something special is created between them? So get on the hype train for the future of a more shipping. Some may just argue that a more shipping is just another ship that will come and go, eventually sinking in the vast ocean. Although this yet can't be confirmed, it's because of the XY series is still an ongoing series in the time of this recording. But what I can confirm is that a more shipping is very unique, even more than Poke shipping. Oh yo, stupid! Hold it. First of all, Poke shipping for life. Second of all, it's original love story. Well, that's a Gen 1er's opinion. I'm not here for nostalgia. I'm here for the facts. Alongside with a few speculations. Well, I ain't no Pokey Prophet, but what I am gonna do is put the pieces together and find out if Ash and Serena will ever have a kid together in the far future. Oh, here we go again with another fanfic story. No, 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 no. This time is different. I'll be taking most of the evidence from the anime. The Kalos region is a place where the Amor flows freely through its mountains, rivers, and its forests. Another thing that Kalos is well known for, for its multiple shippings imaginable. But there is one in particular that stands out from the rest, no other than the amazing shipping between Ash and Serena. So in order to show that this shipping can be much more, let me show you a few evidence that could support this. Keep in mind that this is all just a theory and my opinion, or more shipping. No better way to start off this love story in its early stages. It all began where Ash encountered an injured Serena in the woods of Pallet Town during their childhood. So because of Ash's action that he took back in Pallet Town and Serena's later action that she took to meet Ash at all costs, what made this all possible. But let's face it, if it wasn't for that wild polywag and Alexa, none of this would have ever been possible. Throughout the journey in Kalos, Ash and Serena demonstrated pretty amazing moments where they care of each other's well-being. The first steps in a healthy relationship, in some instances where Ash stands in front of Serena when danger occurs, in Serena's case, checking on Ash every time he does something crazy and even caring for his injury once. Even Ash did a few Serena rescuing operations at one point, especially the time where Ash goes over Serena to untie her first. Oh my god, hashtag sycamore knows. In some instances where Serena shows signs of Ash that she wants his body, other times gifts are exchanged between them, even Ash is seen stepping up his game to help out Serena cross safely in a few occasions. We all know that Serena has a huge crush towards Ash, but can we say the same to Ash? I say yes. It's most notable when Serena changes her outfits in special occasions and Ash's face expression says it all. Possibly out of attraction. Finally, although people quickly argue that Ash and Serena's first date wasn't really a date at all, but wrong they are. It clearly shows the great connection between them throughout the great episode. Although Ash screwed up at the end by leaving Serena by herself, but at the end of the episode, Ash pulled something amazing that will never be forgotten. Those are just a few examples out of many that shows great chemistry between them. So you might be asking, how can all this possibly be evidence for Ash and Serena's kid? Well, all of this that I just told you is just a foundation on what's to come. Is it canon? Yes, you heard that right. Is Amor shipping even canon to begin with? So let's ask a few experts on this. Yo, my man Giorgio Sukalos. Is a more shipping cannon? These are the great questions of humankind, of the universe. In my opinion, is such a thing even possible? Yes, it is. And the ancient astronaut theory suggests that this is a direct result of extraterrestrials tampering with our mind. Oh my god. <laughs> In other words, what does the word cannon really mean to a more shippers? To some, it may only apply to things as if they were ever officially dating, other examples if one of them or both confess their love to each other. Lastly, if they both perform acts like hugging or even kissing. But this one in particular people be like... Then there are two things that I think of. One, is it just fantasy? 
or whoa 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 let me take it from here second of all there are only 10 <laughs> Huni chan agrees well i may disagree with that they are definitely not in the age of 10 whatsoever let's face it a kiss doesn't always have to be interpreted as a sexual act Nonetheless, a kiss between Ash and Serena is a shipper's ultimate wish. At the end of the day, I completely agree with Bird Keeper Toby on this one. And there was even an episode about Ash and Serena going on a first date. Yeah, a first date. So if you're a hardcore armor shipper, don't worry. It's not just in your head. This is actual canon stuff. But sadly, the majority of a more shipper's definition of it being canon is that Serena and Ash should stay together forever. So with the 20th anniversary of the anime soon approaching, that is on April 1st, 2017, just maybe in its 20th anniversary for the Pokemon anime, Game Freak can officially announce that Ash's adventures will come to an end. But who knows, even the game's designer Masuda showing signs of him being a strong supporter of Amor Shipping, or Sato Sere for the Japanese. So why would he support a ship unless he knows the outcome of the shipping? I'm hoping what I think it is? And the answer is a potential yes. Let's just say if they do decide to end Ash's journey and partner him up with Serena, what will their child look like? Can their offspring potentially be the next protagonist of the main anime? Consider the following. Well, I'm not too sure if you guys are ready for this. Maybe I shouldn't. Do it! Wait, wait, what? Just I... do it! Yes, but, I, but I'm not too sure Don't if they... Let your dreams be yes, dreams. yes, I know more shipping is Yesterday, my dream. Yes, I know, so but... Just but, but, do but, it! I, I'm here now. Nothing is impossible! I know, I know more shipping is not impossible. You should get to the point. I know. Anyone else would quit, and you're not gonna stop. But I'm there. scared. What? No, what are you waiting Yes, for? I know I'll do it. Do but, but, it! But, but, but at the same time, I'm scared. I'm not too sure. Just I will. Do I will it! Take, all right. Yes, you can! No, I can't. Just I'm do just it. scared. I don't know. All right, all right, all right. Here goes. If they ever were to have a child together, it will look like no other than Trainer Red. Wait, say what? I know, I know, you might be thinking, Oh yo stupid, Red and Ash's timelines are different. Video game Red is the counterpart of anime Ash. True, but consider this, in Pokemon Origins, they left a few clues so one can speculate. Tell me if you agree, Red's mom looks super similar to Serena, but with a few differences, no blue eyes, and the ears took a toll on you, didn't it? Hey what? But that's not a problem, if Game Freak can add Mega Evolution to Red's story based off the game's blue and red, then changing some features to look like Serena shouldn't be a problem at all. Let's don't forget about the honey colored hair that Red and his mom has too. Is there anything on Red that resembles Ash as the daddy? Of course there is. Let's point out Red's brown hazel eyes similar to Ash's eyes. And thank goodness for Serena's perfect genes blocking Red from having... What are those? Finally, Red wearing that hat with a similar symbol to Ash's own hat in the XY series. And fun fact, Pokemon Origins and the XY anime series start airing around the same time. Coincidence? I think not. Still not convinced? So let me throw in Team Rocket into this fray. In Ash's timeline, he had a chance to battle against Giovanni in the Best Wishes saga, and even tried to convince Giovanni to leave his evil ways. But Ash failed miserably. So because he did, the organization is live and well, even into the XY series and beyond. So years later, Giovanni still has the same goal to selling Pokemon, conquering regions and eventually the world alongside running a gym in the Kanto region Ash and Serena's metaphorically speaking kid comes along and then dismantles Team Rocket while making Giovanni have a change of heart during the gym battle. Well this particular part can only be debunked if Ash is the one to pull a Naruto towards Giovanni if they ever have a second battle together. Well at the end of the day I'm not saying that Red is 100% Ash and Serena's kid 
All I'm saying is, what will their child have looked like if they ever have one together? Without trying to pull a rat pat by adding math, science, or even attempting to measure Ash's you know what, but it's hard to ignore the similarities of Ash and Red. Father, like son, this is just one man's opinion. Just maybe Game Freak left us clues in order for us to put the pieces together. A. Serena, question. Like a mud scamp would say, tell me the deets, tell me. How did you guys conceive Red? Hmm? That is none of your business! Damn girl, calm down. So what do you guys think? You wanna know what I think of this video? A clear example of cancer. Don't worry, this time I brought back up. Warren, get your ass in here. Yeah, and how much she gonna love him when she fucking leaves at the end of the fucking show? We all know what's gonna happen. We all know Serena's gonna leave at the end of the show. We all know that Ash is gonna friend zone Serena, she's gonna be stuck in fucking Kalos, and Ash is gonna go over to the Lola Legion and travel with the next girl. Who, oh yeah, she's probably gonna wanna suck his dick, she's probably gonna wanna blow him off, and then he's gonna friend zone her again, then he's gonna go to the league and lose the league again, then he's gonna go to another region and lose that league again, he's gonna go to another region, go to another region, another, 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 you get the point. Oh my god, you trolls never fail to amuse me. So here's the question for you guys to answer. Will Ash and Serena ever have a kid together? Or do you think this great ship will eventually have the same fate of Poke shipping? The important thing is to enjoy this somewhat of a love story between Ash and Serena in the Kalos region. Please guys, don't be like these Amor shippers. Hi guys, Sunt here. The future is now, thanks to Amor shipping. Or when Amor shipping was never meant to be. <laughs> it's still real to me, damn it! It's still real to me! Such a bitch is god damn it! Hola pendejo, no te olvides de esto! Whoa, 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 wait, wait, what's this? New evidence that Red is Ash and Serena's son? You don't seem nervous that I, uh, took a little <laughs> tripsy. Why would I be nervous, Sal? I've already been to the future, and unlike you, I don't have a daughter. You're right. You don't have a daughter, but you do have a son. And I fucked your son. <laughs> yeah! I fucked your son! How about that? You thought you had me, because you didn't have a daughter. No, I went into the future, and I fucking fucked your son. I fucked your son, and he fucked me back. my god, what the hell was this? Who put this in this video? Whose bright idea was this? Oh my god, more shipping is ruined. Unbelievable. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna jump out the window. Until next time, I'm not too sure. I give up on more shipping. I give up everything about life. I don't know why I keep doing this. <laughs>